Hey guys, Paperclip here again. Gonna be playing some more EU4 today as Florence again, where we just finished another war with the Ottomans. Uh, we declared on Crimea while the Ottomans was guaranteeing his independence, so he joined the war along with Muscovy. We gave the Commonwealth that province and we took some stuff to get more prestige from Muscovy. We took a bunch of stuff down here from the Ottomans. Um, I would like to see, we do have the yearly prestige guy. I kind of need him. Let's not root out corruption for right now. You know I have a ton of crap causing corruption. Kosovo just rebelled. Okay, fine. You guys can just go kill Kosovo. You guys all need to come like way back here. You guys all just come kill freaking the Pope. So he's not even a factor in this war anymore. Alright, so. How many troops do we need? 15? We'll do it out of the 30 stack. Alright, so everyone but that group of 15, you can leave. And for now, I think I'm just gonna group these guys together. I'm gonna bring this guy over there as well. We're gonna group both of them together, make them like a 50 stack. That way we at least have 22 infantry. We'll have like 24 cannons. I don't know where he thinks he's going. Is Toulouse his vassal or something? No, Toulouse just joined because it's part of a coalition war now. I could do Scorch Earth, give us more defensiveness. Why not? But of course he has like the super 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 good morale because he has fucking France in there. Oh, what do you know? He trained up another 30,000 troops. Like, pretty much out of his fucking ass. He just... Oh, yeah, 30,000 more troops. Here you go. Alright, when you guys are done, you're just going to come over here and you're just going to kill those guys. There's that. You guys move over there. Kill that four stack. Cause fuck that guy. You guys all move up here. <laughs> no, on your way. Just kill that guy. Well, 
rip to my main power. Where's this capital? There. Go siege down his capital. That's the five star sieger, right? Yes, it is. Along with eight cannons. I pretty much have to because I'll be hemorrhaging money if I don't. But hey, on the bright side, we're doing pretty well against the Ottomans over here. What are we sitting on now? We're sitting on almost 1200 development. A lot of this stuff isn't like super great development, so it's not really a big deal to take a lot of it. But it's still going to help us a lot because we need this land if we want to do the form Rome thing anyway. I am thinking I might form Italy. Because it'll just gain us more prestige. If I can get up above 50 prestige get this it'll automatically put me at 75 prestige I can click this button and become an empire and then I can get other freaking CBs just for being an empire why don't I split this and split that get a bunch of sieges going on all around here Your 13 stacks dead. Now we are winning according to this, which is good. Why don't you come down here and get what freaking provinces they have left of that? We gotta keep the prestige high. I wanna be an empire, man. We should be able to catch at least some of them. Yep, which we will. Wait, where did we just lose? Where did we just lose? Oh, up here in Alsace. Well, I got Alsace's capital, so it's not really that big of a deal. Do we still have superior numbers? Yeah, we do, but I think they have superior quality of troops. If we can get all these forts, they literally just can't move troops back and forth here. This is going to be painful. Just don't be a stack wipe. That's all I ask. Good. I so say if that's a stack wipe, that's gonna really fucking hurt us. What I need to do is I need to get rid of France in this freaking war. See, look at this, 112,000 troops up here. I can't fight that. I have to pull all my troops back. Like, I can't fight 112,000 troops. They'll just kill my army. Like, outright. Like, I'll just die.
I can fight 20,000 troops though, so if I can get up there quickly enough... I should be able to kill that 23 stack. Why don't you get the weaker guy? You get the really good guy since you're going into attack. <laughs> Just let him be. It's not worth it at the moment. There we go, we just stack wiped him. That's great. Looks like they're gonna try and come on in here. Let's go ahead and consolidate. Of course, because of France's like insane freaking morale. Is he ahead of us in military tech? He fucking is. He's ahead of us in military tech. Alright, we gotta start focusing on military again. We just have to. Go kill that guy real quick. Ooh, what do you know? Hungary integrated all of Austria. Damn, Hungary. We're still Hungary's only ally, though. How about we don't attack that? Doesn't look like I can get out of here either. Who's attacking me? Oh, where'd he pull 60 fucking thousand troops out from, huh? Where'd we just lose now? Aw, oh, fuck you. We're gonna lose over here too, so just fucking fall back. Fucking Spain's still high enthusiasm because he's a piece of shit. Nobody on our side's really low. They're all still pretty high. We still have the superior numbers, but for some reason they're just kicking our ass in most of these battles. I think it's just because of France being part of this and his fucking Alon. France and his like godsend morale. There's just like no defending against it.
Really, are you telling me we might not win this? Say, so get the fuck out of here, we might not win this. It's bullshit. Yeah, I ain't getting up there in time, that's for sure. He can't get troops up here because I control both of them forts. Ah, uh, Crimean separatists, really? Orthodox? Fuck the Orthodox separatists, man. Am I even converting anything over there right now? Did I convert that and forget? I did. That's bullshit. So they're gonna go through and make all that shit Orthodox again because that's a stupid mechanic. That's why. There has never in the history been a bunch of fucking, like, at least probably not that commonly that religious rebels have risen and converted the entire country into a religion. There's still people who believe in the fucking normal religion even though the rebels are pieces of shit. Whatever, shit's just gonna be orthodox over there, I guess. Come on, guys, just hold out until he can get there. Yeah. Now, quick, kill all of France's army so that way he can't participate in these fucking battles anymore. Here we go, now things are starting to go in our favor. You know what, you go up to Paris. I want Paris siege back. I don't want them to have Paris. Well now stuff's starting to go in our favor. Alsace has low enthusiasm, Augsburg's on medium, Montefrat, Salzburg, Papal State, and Toulouse are all low. Spain's at 39, we're at 65. Yeah, shit's starting to turn around now. Even though we have a 40,000 manpower deficit, that's a fucking thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna consolidate all of our armies. There we go, now we only have a 3,000 manpower deficit. Don't kill his rebels. Let Switzerland spawn. If he wants to be a dick and join against us, he can fucking suffer the consequences of not having anything.
Does Hungry decide he wants all that? Yes, he did. Hungry wants all of Alsace and parts of Burgundy. Wow. Burgundy already says he wants that stuff. The Commonwealth says he wants all the things that I haven't selected that I want. Go kill that 1.7 and then go right on in there. Go kill this one stack, then go kill those guys. You guys come up here. He's gonna try and come over through here, I guarantee it. Yep. There we go, those guys are dead. I can't quite catch them. They're all gonna try and go right here. Bam, now they're all dead. They're all gonna try and go over to here. And then they're gonna change their mind and say they wanna go here, and then I'm just gonna kill them again. Like France, I'm gonna break your country. I hope you understand this, that this is like my mission. Well, let's see, how much influence do they have? The nobility gained 15 influence, it wouldn't be that bad. The burgers gained 15 influence, it could be potentially disastrous. Just let them have it and then these guys will grant them charters. So yeah, I'm just going to keep killing every single guy that you spawn. Like pretty much endlessly. They keep thinking, oh, we're going to group up a big army down here. And it's like, the fuck you are. You ain't going to be doing shit down there. What did he just attack? Ah, oh, you bastard. He's coming down here and sieging this because he knows he can't win up there. Go kill those guys. They're not going to sit here and convert all my provinces to fucking orthodox because they're assholes. That looks like Burgundy's already on it for me. Even better. Just go take Aquelia then. I'm probably going to take over Aquelia as part of this war, as this peace deal. Just because they've been a pretty big pain in my ass.
Like I said, man, I'm not gonna let you do anything. You're just gonna die because you decided to fucking help him out. Let me guess, he converted that? No, he didn't convert that. He did convert Crimea though, but Crimea was already Orthodox, so I really don't feel that bad. But he did stop my freaking progress of making it Catholic. Which is equally as frustrating. I'd rather have cheaper technology, thank you. How long does that last? For 10 years. So how much does this cost now? This costs 397 now. Yeah, we'll definitely tech up an admin then. And this next one is probably going to be... Should I do plutocratic? I mean, I could go defensive. I could also go quality. I only like the first, like, three, and then the last one, and then that. I don't like these ship ones. Like, these ship ones should be in, like, naval or something else. Like, it's dumb. So I think I'm going to just go with defensive. Are we suffering attrition here? Barely. But we are. I'm gonna move one guy over to here then. You know what? What I'm gonna do? You. Leave the absolute minimum amount of troops that you need. Both of you guys. Go kill Spain. Okay, cool. Portugal did something. I don't care. Well, that sucks. I didn't mean to press find, I meant to do that. If they want to attack that, we can just send everybody in to attack him right back. The Commonwealth will come in here and help us. Or he will not come in here and help us. I mean, that's another possibility. But then Burgundy and them will come down here and they should squash him. There we go. So that's all good enough. Um... Yeah, so this was more expensive than any war I've fought in quite a while. He figured since I was preoccupied with the Ottomans, it'd be a perfect time. But little did he know I could already piece out the Ottomans for a decent peace deal of Adern, Bur Burgas, Kosovo, Achia, and Yiddish Ghul. So, joke's on him. You guys go kill him, and then come up there and kill him. It's the last time I'm doing war reps. We have call for peace. 
That's pretty rough. Pretty high war exhaustion too, damn. We'll knock it down one time. Alright, so we should probably peace out. I really want to get Aquelia though, so I'm going to wait to see if... Damn it! Why can't you just get Aquelia? Do I want this? I think I'd rather... What do I have cores? I have cores on some of those, so the ones with the cores are going to be really cheap to get. So I might as well take those. Does he still have a core on this? He does. Is that going to me, or... No, that'd be Palermo to Tripoli. I think I would accept this. You should accept it sometime pretty soon too, I imagine. Doesn't really have much else going for him. Then again, neither do I. I think like almost my whole army's dead. 93 troops, but I have 21,000 I need to recover. So yeah, it's going to be a long recovery process. Make long-term investments or gain a ton of money and pay off all my debt. I mean, this one gives me monarch power, but I think right now I just kind of want the money so I can just pay off all my debt. Because now I have no loans, which would be very beneficial to us. Come on, just get there before he breaks it. We're so close to capturing that. You fucking bastards. I swear to God, if we lose this, we're going to lose this. We are going to lose this against 20 fucking thousand troops. Wow. Fuck goddamn France. Seriously, fuck France. France is such a piece of fucking shit. Uh, so I basically can't demand Palermo at all. Well, that's fine. What else can we do then? We could come down the coast and do something like that. Instead of those, I wanted Aquelia. And I want Barcelona. You didn't occupy any forts in the area, man. You can't take that. You don't hold any forts in the area, man. That's really what I want. And I think I can get it. See, he has a really good opinion of me.
for quite a lot of reasons. He's a good opinion of me. He's a good opinion of me. So yeah, all these guys will be fine. They all have really good opinions of me. I really want to get that next military tech is what I want to do. No, Spain. Are you willing to accept this? Because this is my peace offer. Oh boy, there's a lot of revolt risk here. Like everybody has revolt risk basically. Getting quite a bit of war exhaustion every month too. Dude, would you please just take this? You're almost there. I'll wait. I can wait a little bit. How about now? He's less likely to take it now than he was three months ago. Whatever game. How did Hungary get these provinces anyway? Oh, they were Austrian provinces, that's right. I say, how did he get those without a peace deal? That doesn't make sense. But I'm just dumb. That's all that was. Me being dumb. Come on, just get Aragon. If you get Aragon, we can probably do this peace deal. Or don't get Aragon and he'll unsiege something so we're even less likely to do the fucking peace deal. God damn it! We have too much war exhaustion, man. Fine, what if I don't do Barcelona and I do something else? Like, what if I want just Bari, the other province here? He'll almost do that. He's actually very close to doing that. Come on, just get that siege. If you can get that siege, we can do this peace deal. He's at 35 fucking percent, really? Don't get that siege. Good. If he gets that siege, we're good. Holy shit, is he sieging fast. No wonder he's getting stuff. He sieges at like fucking three times the rate we do. Now what if instead of that I said I wanted that? Nope, still not. Okay, fine. I'll take that. I like some money as well.
Alright, no. Oh, I should've took Rome, because then I could've formed the Empire. Fuck! Oh, well. I don't need you there. I like to core all of these that I can. I'd like to core you. You're already a core. Most of you guys are already a core. I would like to core you, though. And there we go. Oh, Hungary got that? Really? Well, shit. I wouldn't have done that if I knew Hungary was going to... Whatever. Fuck it. Fuck it at this point. There's nothing I can really do. But thank you guys for watching. It's been another long episode, but I'm going to call it here. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.